Okay, this one is about uh, checking the pressures and the corresponding temperatures using an analog gauge set. I did a little earlier one with a uh, digital set and I'm going to show you how this works with the analog too. Okay, you can see by the bat thermometer that we're at 84 degrees. That's the return air uh, going into the return of the air handler. Okay, we also have a temperature probe in the supply and we're showing 63.5 which uh, gives us what the 84 gives us pretty much uh, a 20 degree split or maybe a little less. Okay, let's look at the gauge set. Okay, now the gauge set's hooked up with the high side and low side hooked up, machines running, and so on. Uh, let's see if we can find out what this means. Okay, I'm running just under 69 pounds. Now if you look at the green scale, that's R22, we're going to follow that up and we're going to look and you can see we're right at 40. Just almost exactly 40 degrees. That's the evaporating temperature. Okay, these gauges are a little harder to be accurate on uh, because the gradations are pretty close to each other. However, you can get a pretty good idea. We're sitting there at right at 40. So we have a 40 degree evaporating temperature. Uh, let's look at the high side. Okay, if you look at that, we're shown right at 220 degrees. And if you look down at the green scale, you'll be 108. So again, in the evaporator, we're evaporating at 40 degrees. And in the condenser, we're condensing at 108. And that's how to uh, check with the analog gauges for evaporating and condensing temperature.